Carl and Lou are here from Games Brains and Headbang Live, GBHBL.com for sure. And we're doing another track by track, checking out something on the extreme mm. end of the metal spectrum. It is, of course, you've seen the title, Tomb of the Mutilated by Cannibal Corpse, the third studio album by the death metal band. It was released in 1992 through Metal Blade Records and is the last album recorded with the band's original lineup as founding lead guitarist Bob Russo was fired after the album's release. The album famously was banned in Germany due to the violent cover and extreme nature of the lyrics. Hmm, that's, a, that's a surprise. I thought Germany a bit more laid back. No, they've got... No, not, not, mm. no there's a lot of stuff they can get banned in Germany. Uh, fair point. I thought it Every was... country's got its own rules and laws. That yeah. cover, that famous cover... Yeah, it's pretty, I, pretty hard. Pretty, the uh... German ones were picked out, but I'm pretty sure there was a lot of other places that weren't a cool of it. It's like the Guns N' Roses original album oh. cover against the cross, you know? That's the other one I was going to think of, because that... Ooh, that creeped me out when I was younger. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit much. <laughs> so Cannibal Corpse overall, I mean, I will confess to never really being that big of a fan. Uh, when they were... This this period, I wasn't even listening to metal. I was no. like eight, nine years old at most. This was not it. And when I got, by the time I got into metal properly and a heavier side of it and developed my taste like that, mm. Cannibal Corpse always came across like crusty noise mongers, so to speak. I've got a lot more appreciation of these days. Seen them live a fair few times mm. and I think they're a great band. They really are. But this is still not always what I look for when it comes to yeah. the extreme side of metal. I think a, when I see them live, it seems like the crowd really has fun with it as well. Mm. That kind of like boosts my enjoyment as well when you see it live. Um, so growing up, my dad like was never a fan of this kind of metal, so it wasn't like on yeah. TV or Headbangers Ball. It always was like, oh, can't you understand what they're saying? Mm. He likes lyrics and hearing lyrics. So the more extreme side, like grind, would definitely definitely not be on his like. Radio. Yeah, and that's kind of like fed into me. So I'm a bit more into a bit more of the heavier stuff now. But it wouldn't be like whole albums in a row. It'd be like the odd song because it's quite repetitive. Oh, it has that. <laughs> it does have that. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get into it then. Yeah. And we begin with one of the big hairs. Mm. It's Hammer Smashed Face. And it's yeah. an absolute frenzy of noise. It's mm. the embodiment of chaos. And you can see completely on this track why those looking for an outlet of their aggression mm. grasp this band with both hands. It has some damn right fine and dandy guitar riffs, a bit of flair with the screeches and more. I enjoyed it as an opener. Yeah, because I, I, this is one I've heard the most. Of course, definitely. yeah. Um, I really like the groove to this one. It has a little breakdown. Um, so I never go to listen to Grind all the time, but like this has been on like a playlist and stuff. And it's just like it's nostalgic because you obviously remember it from Ace Ventura, the very famous scene, Ace Ventura. I didn't you know, know that was the song they were playing. I yeah. mean, I, I, yeah. obviously I know of I that scene, but... That, yeah. They I... picked that one for uh, Ace to be slam dancing to. I think it's <laughs> thrown out of the pit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a good way to start. Good start. It was kind of promising start to an album. Oh, it is. It absolutely yeah. is. Yeah. And I think it continues. I think the quality continues yeah. to the I Come Blood. Uh, roaring start, the ache it causes for the body might consider, make you consider getting a doctor to check you over. That dissolves into a chunky death metal groove with gargling vocals before mm. erupting into a frantic fury from before and back again. This is a banger for me. I think it's a really strong start to this album with these two tracks. Yeah, so the, the titles on this album are really starting to go off the scale. Mm -hmm. So it started off with a bit violent, then it's going to go off the scale now. Of course. Um, the drumming is mental, and my neck hurts listening to it. So you can imagine like when you're headbanging. Yeah, it's, like, absolutely. Going nuts. Um, it feels more sludgy in parts. I like the change in pace, and it feels like, the, but it feels like the songs could be shorter. Okay. I do always want just a little bit shorter. Yeah. With this stuff. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think short, short, sharp punch of this is better than. Some of these longer tracks. So. Okay. Addicted to vaginal skin. <laughs> Ripping and tearing, there's no surprises here. It's a monumental slab of aggression where every single instrument seems to be in hit as hard as possible. I think it's interesting to hear the vocals sit behind the instruments, more mm. obviously here. Uh, the solo, though, is stupidly, the guitar solo, mm. is stupid. Because it's literally three seconds. <laughs> Just don't do it then. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bands, isn't it? Um, uh, intro from a serial killer. Mm. It sounds like we're recorded as a serial, serial killer sounding didn't, kind didn't of a, anything for me. I've yeah. heard that shit a million times before. Yeah. Um, I'd be happy to have this without his vocals because I say, like you just said, like it's behind the instruments. I'm like, I'm, I'm fine without. I thought it was a production issue mm. at first, but considering it, that's not the case throughout the rest of the album. Yeah, just I wanted it behind. Yeah, but, so it's like, why even there? Yeah, but I've got great energy. So yeah, I enjoyed that one. Split wide open. The <laughs> sharpness of the riffs here could cut and cut deep. I actually find myself really focusing on the drumming here. It's strong stuff. I get into this 
into a much more head banger way kind of thing, mm. if that makes sense. I mean, because head banging in this album isn't really something you're going to be able to do. It's slam, it's circling, it's mm. bashing into each other, it's pits. Mm. Whereas this one, I feel like you could stand her and, you yeah. know, do that. Yeah. Yeah, another fast paced track. Um, it is, they're all, they're all fast. <laughs> you know, yeah, kind of there's like, no point saying beyond yeah, that. Yeah, so there's, there's, like, there's no. Um, New, like, there's no kind of real change in pace. So when you're mm. kind of describing songs, you kind of think, it's another fast one. There's no kind of like real slow, slow in energy, but I still enjoyed it. There are a ton of cliches you could use to describe this album overall, but the cliches mm. exist for a reason and they are fair. You can call this album as a whole a blast to the face. Yeah. You know, that's those cliche terms yeah. can be used and used correctly and accurately here for the album as a whole. <laughs> Necropedophile. Another solid slab of noise that ticks all the right boxes for me. It's brutally heavy, but not so much that it's unlistenable. I actually like the darker chug that crops up in the verses and the bursts of frenzy are fun. I thought it was I said too long. Yeah. Um, and I feel there's not narrow definition from one track to the next. It is a big problem, obviously, um, in this album as a whole. Yeah, I did. Because like, most albums, you kind of, if you're not sitting there with a notepad, you can you know when a song changes. So you kind of brain shift it. Okay, I'll make, I'll make tracks a new track. Mm. This one, I had to constantly keep going back to see where things had kind of come in. So it yeah. does It does make it hard when you're trying to do a track by track, when you're trying to sort of pick out things where you're like, oh, I, I've got this to say about this mm. one beyond it's fucking heavy, yeah. you know, or it's intense or it's fast. You know, you yeah. end up constantly repeating the words and go, no, I need to have something a bit more nuanced to say about that. Yeah. The Cryptic Stench. Chunky mm. riffing, dirty and nasty stuff. This is meaty percussion effort. The guitar squirrels like everything up. It's only undone by overtly familiar frenzied parts. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Again, I, keep, like, I literally wonder what I just said, sorry, in my notes. It's just, I have to keep close on the track. Track's all the same. Mm. I can't. But, and again, it's a link to his vocals. Because they're all the same, there's no, there's literally, there's no change in it. There's no kind of clean to that. No. It's all one note. So yeah, it was getting kind of a bit. And here's the thing. I know that's what, I know that's what people love about yeah. them. I really yeah. do. And it's stuff I love about them yeah. too. It's stuff I can thoroughly enjoy, you know, mm. but just not a whole album's worth. That's it basically. Yeah. And I think, say, more in a live atmosphere, I can get mm. on board with it because you feel off people's energy and you can see the what's going into it yes. when you're watching it live or as an album on the way to work it's like it's <laughs> no that's fair yeah. I like that I like that mm. uh, Entrails Rip from A Virgin's Cunt another one of the more famous efforts and I do wonder how many people check this out purely because of the title oh yeah like do you know what I mean when you're a kid a teenager going I'm gonna check, you know you thought wouldn't have thought you were super fucking rebellious you know yeah. to be honest I will say I think these titles uh, these titles are childish yeah by, think by today's standards I think it's just because you never hear any any work you don't really hear any words in the vocals so, so they yeah. have to kind of like if it's stream band extreme song titles if you will mm -hmm. the covers the t-shirts it's all part of what they what they are yep um, but yeah I said not the acoustic romantic track that I envisioned of course um, really is no definition and over four minutes long I wanted I want different vocals I want a bit of change okay yeah I, th I think this is class. Mm. I think this is brilliant. Uh, the drumming is once again great. The moves from slower tempos to raging ones are more controlled, even if it is out of chaos, obviously, for the most mm. part. And with this one, I could really picture Circle Pit Mayhem here. Mm. Yeah, uh, this is one of my favourite on the album. <laughs> post mortal ejaculation yep. and I was like oh that's a bit of a slower start mm. Ooh, very unexpected but unsurprisingly it doesn't last mm. the burst of energy really does heat things up and the guitars are freaking wild yeah mm. so oh different kind of intro we both wrote ooh because <laughs> <laughs> it was so different ooh. it was like ooh when I was checking I was like oh it's the same it's the same because sometimes when I listen to it on like a streaming site it just cuts to like radio once the album's of finished of course yeah so I'm like oh it's gone to another track oh, shit I've missed the end of it yeah and it was like no it was actually still them um, oh no and then back to the usual setup. Um I think I had that a couple of words as well in the vocals so Ooh. I was like okay so this song kind of stood out as solid sort of different track for me so I was quite excited by that okay hmm. 
And uh, technically the finale, although there is one more track, mm. uh, Beyond the Cemetery, one last example of the brutality and show here, mm. a longer level of intensity with a sickening display of noise. I realised at this point, I think this album's too long. Mm. And at this point, I admit this track, I was like, oh, I'm shutting, like, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Like, I'm done. Yeah. I, I'm ready to finish. And thankfully it was the finish, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, a random live track. I thought it was quite random to have it. As Beyond the life. Cemetery, what did you have about that? Oh, sorry, I'm... I'm yeah, you were jumping one ahead. Yeah, sorry, I, was, I wasn't the end of it. Um, straight in again, I'm glad it's nearly done. There's no variety and this song is so long. <laughs> Positivity. I yeah. know, I know. I do want short, sharp bursts of this stuff. Yeah, okay, so, okay. Yeah, it's not my usual. And the live track you were just about yeah. to talk about. Yeah, yeah, it's got a random live track jammed in at the end. It's mm. I Can Blood Live. And I already said what I said about the normal version. I've seen Cannibal Corpse Live a few yeah. times. And I've probably heard this song. Yeah. But I fucking can't remember if I have. <laughs> um, that being said, I, I kind of think it's cool to hear it with crowd noises. Yeah. It sounds savage live. And it's one of those live recordings of the best kind of live for me. Which is, mm. oh, I can hear this crowd. And I can hear the sweat and blood and tears and all yeah. that sort of thing, you know? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a, a nice addition. There's nothing wrong with it being here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like the intro from... Uh... Oh so yeah, he it does. Explaining it, I was like, okay, that's that. That makes perfect sense. But he said it was just the the atmosphere of it, and I was like, yeah, this is what I'd appreciate. This is what I want to see from Cannibal Corpse. So yeah, it kind of was like, oh yeah, this is what you like about them. Mm. So maybe a live album might be better for me <laughs> with Cannibal Corpse. But yeah, yeah. Okay, well, three top three tracks. Okay, hammer smashed, hammer smashed face, addicted to vaginal skin, and post mortal ejaculation. Whew, never thought I'd say them. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of better, but I have gone for the hitters here. And it's mm. Hammer Smash Face, mm. I Come Blood, and Entrails Rip from a Virgin's Cunt. Uh, those are my top three tracks from this album. I understand Caliber Corpse are one of those that people absolutely love and defend mm. to their dying days. We've been critical of it, so, you know, um, understand where we're coming from. We are fans. We respect this band greatly. And I think this album overall is pretty fucking great as well it's certainly one of the more popular ones there's another one I can't remember the title of it that's considered kind of kind of corpses cream cream mm. done it's just simply put this level of brutality over and over again it's just a little bit too much great for me to mm. take as one complete thing really yeah. you know yeah but let us know what you think of it in the comments thank you very much for watching you can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook Instagram Twitter and Tumblr Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?